clear, this is clearly a little bit over the head here. Do you condemn rioting? Controversial BLM founder says riots are the voice of the unheard before storming out of interview with Dan Bongino, who called him a coward for refusing to condemn violence and bloodshed. Welcome to the Dumb Dumb News channel, dedicated to reviewing news stories, support the channel by pressing the thumbs up button, subscribing, leaving a comment, and sharing. Sources will be linked in the description so you can read the full details yourself. The main article further states, Hawk Newsom, co-founder of Black Lives Matter in New York City, appeared on Fox News on Saturday night and was asked about comments made this week. Newsom told reporters, there will be riots, there will be fire, and there will be bloodshed if mayor-elect Eric Adams reinstates the NYPD's anti-crime units. Incoming Mayor Adams has pledged to reinstate the NYPD's anti-crime units, about 600 plainclothes officers that fight violent crime. So you don't want riot prep, in, in to be test clear. prep. And ju there's just one other part to this. We could take people from housing process projects who are caught up in the public assistance system and we can give these people jobs. You don't want riots, skills. right? You job don't want skills. riots, correct? And violence. I just Listen, want to get me, you on the record here. Let me explain something to you. Hawk. Let me explain no, no, something. I just to you. want to get you on the record. You don't want uh, violence. I'm going on the record right now. I'm going on the record right now. As Dr. King said, riots are the voice of the unheard. It's a natural I'm, occurrence that if I'm just people keep, a simple continue question. to be you traumatized or not? and oppressed, they will lash out. That's it. Do you condemn That's violence they will or not? And, but and, they shouldn't and, and, and lash you, out, correct? Dan, what, what I'm telling you is, right, what I'm telling you is the Boston Tea Party was a riot. It was because people were fed up. So they took to I'm the I'm not asking about the, the Boston Tea Party, Hawk. No, but we're, 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 you, what you're question. talking to me about is... Do you condemn is, and, and violence And it's amazing that this is Veterans Day, and the first man to die in the, the fight for this country was a black man named Christmas So you won't... Christmas why can't Adam. you just condemn violence? How does this why help? Would, why, why would I condemn violence? Why, why would I do that? I believe in self-defense. I believe that if someone No one's talking you, about self-defense. All right, let me make it simple. Forget... Okay. I, this, clear, this is clearly a little bit over the head here. Do you condemn rioting head? and burning down over buildings? Over whose head? You, you, you're not answering the question. Do you condemn riots and burning down buildings after a police use of force incident you don't like? No, I, I can. I, what I'll say is I understand when a police officer unjustifiably kills someone, why people lash out. I understand that completely. I didn't ask. I'm not why going can't to, you answer the I'm question? Not going to, I'm not going to condemn, you can't answer the nor question. am I going to condone it. Now, now, see, here's the thing. Isn't when that Osama cowardly? bin Laden, Wasn't when that Osama cowardly? bin Laden and those it, terrorists so attacked the take United stand? States of America. Can you let you, me listen, talk? Man. You have a show. You no, talk no, as much you as you want. You seem to talk a lot of junk. And then when I put you on the spot, you won't answer a damn question. Do you condone violence? I'm answering violence, the question. Or do you condemn I'm violence? answering You're the question. You're all over the place. Well, Just I'm condemn answering violence the and burning of buildings down. How hard is this? Okay. So when Osama bin Laden attacked the World Trade Center, did you say... This America should deal You're with it peacefully. The question, man. I'm nah, posing you questions have, to that you. That is nothing you know, to I do your with people burning down businesses in New York City. You're not going to answer the question, Hawk. But listen, uh, wait. I okay, I'll give you, you this. I'll shot. give you this. I'll the, give you this. The, 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 I don't else condone it. I, I don't promote it, but I will not condemn it. Yeah, that's just cowardly, man. That's just cowardly. No, you're you a coward. Stand for something. You yeah. know what? Yeah. You see, I'm you're trying coward, to bait yeah. me. God I'm bless you, yeah. man. I'm out of here. Nope. God bless. Yeah, yeah. You are out of here. You're right. Uh In my opinion, Hawk Newsom didn't want to give Dan Bongino a straight yes or no answer. He was explaining that there is a time and place for people lashing out. I have always said that violence is never the answer. If you go around destroying property, the taxpayers eventually have to pay to have it repaired. The best course of action is to vote out the people that are running the local government administration. I also believe that we should learn to settle our differences with civil discourse, meaning we should be able to talk, argue, disagree and discuss our points of view. Today, I want to ask you if you think violence or rioting is ever the answer. Those are my thoughts, what are yours? Leave them in the comments below, please share this video for education and awareness, for the Dumb Dumb News channel, I'm Dumb Dumb.